Welcome to ST786 channel. In this video we will see what is Thai Poosam, the history behind the celebration of Thai Poosam and how to celebrate or observe fasting on Thai Poosam and its benefits. For those of you watching this video and haven't subscribed this channel, please do subscribe and press the bell icon to get the updates of the videos posted. Thai Poosam is a festival celebrated by the Tamil community on the full moon day in Tamil month of Thai which falls between January or February. A festival occurring in Tamil month that is Thai on the day of the star Poosam around Pournami that is full moon is celebrated as Thai Poosam. The word Thai Poosam is a combination of the name of the month Thai which means January and the early part of February and the name of the star that is the Poosam. This particular star is at its highest point during the festival. Thai Poosam is an important festival observed by the Hindus of southern India. Outside India, it is celebrated mainly in countries where there is a significant presence of Tamil community such as Sri Lanka, Malaysia, Singapore, Mauritius, South Africa, Canada, Thailand, Myanmar and other places. It is also observed as a national holiday in many countries like Malaysia, Sri Lanka and Mauritius. Thai Poosam festival is dedicated to Lord Muruga or Kartikeya. Lord Muruga or Kartikeya is a Hindu god who is the son of Lord Shiva and Parvati. Lord Muruga is also known as Kartikeya, Subramanya, Sanmuga, Kanda and Guha. It is believed that on this day, Goddess Parvati presented a lens to Lord Muruga to vanish the demon army of Taragasura and combat the evil deeds. Therefore, Taipusam is a celebration of victory of good over evil. To mark this day of penance and thanksgiving, Hindus pierce their body with metal shoes and carry pots of milk on their heads as procession and offer it to Lord Muruga. Now we'll see what is the history behind the celebration of the Thai Poosam festival. There are several legends about the festival Thai Poosam. Here are a few of them. Lord Shiva, the primordial archetype who has the power to dissolve even the worst karma, came to earth to reduce suffering and grant enlightenment to the people. On this day, Lord Shiva danced the Anda Tandavam and reveal his dancing forms to the devas, sages and priests gathered at the Shiva temple of Sidambaram district in Tamil Nadu. According to another legend, as Shiva was imparting a mantra to Parvati, Lord Muruga eavesdropped on him. For that error, Parvati laid a curse on him in line with the rule that even a son must be punished. To be redeemed from her curse, Lord Muruga offered hard penance at Tiriparam Kunjam. Pleased with his penance, Shiva and Parvati appeared before him and lifted the curse. The day on which the curse was removed is celebrated as Thai Pusam. Above all, the important legend behind the celebration is Lord Muruga receiving the powerful weapon of the whale to vanish all evil and negative forces. The veil represents infinite wisdom that brings true liberation. There was a demon named Taragasuran who gave a lot of trouble to the rishis and saints. Lord Muruga was called by his parents Lord Shiva and Parvati and gave him the job of destroying the Asuran. Lord Muruga set off with the blessings of his parents to destroy the demon. He took with him 12 weapons, 11 of which were given by his father, Lord Shiva, and the veil was given by his mother, Parvati. Lord Muruga destroyed Tarakaswaran on the Pusam Nakshatira day in the Tamil month of Thai, and hence Thai Pusam is celebrated in all Murugan temple. The veil that Lord Muruga received from his mother is a symbol of Brahmachananam, that is, meaning absolute knowledge. According to the myth, the veil was given to Lord Muruga to banish three Asuras, Surabhatman, Singamohan and Taragasuran, 
who were terrorizing to both earth and heaven at that time the three of them represent the forces of ego attachment and hatred the veil is a symbol of light and wisdom was used by lord muruga to get the world of the three asuras and bring peace back to the heaven and earth lord muruga is a embodiment of shiva's light and wisdom and devotees pray to him to overcome the obstacles they face as he is a divine banisher of evil the motto of thai pusam festival is to pray to lord muruga to receive his grace so that the bad traits are destroyed it is thus a special day for worship of lord muruga or subramanya and is celebrated in a very grand manner at the murugan temples especially at the six battle camps or arubadi vidu of lord muruga the other history behind the celebration is swami ramalingam a highly devoted master converted his body into the divine light and merged with the higher energies thus thai pusam is celebrated in both shiva and muruga temples and some devotees also contribute this to swami ramalingam having seen the history behind the celebration now we'll take a glimpse at the rituals which are celebrated on thai pusam one of the main ritual is a kaveri aatam the kaveri aatam which is called as a burden dance is a ceremonial sacrifice and offering performed by the devotees during the worship of lord muruga it is often performed during the festival of thai pusam and emphasizes death bondage devotees prepare for the celebration by cleansing themselves through prayer and fasting for 48 days before thai pusam kavadi bhiharas have to perform elaborate ceremonies at the time of assuming the kavadi and at the time of offering it to lord muruga the kavadi bhiharas observe celibacy and consumes only certain type of food known as sattvic food once a day while continuously thinking of god on the day of the festival devotees shave their heads and undertake a pilgrimage along the set route while engaging in various acts of devotion now let's take a glimpse at the history of using kavadi for celebrating the thai pusam festival carrying kavadi is a practice of prayashitam that is when their prayers are answered The tradition of carrying kavadi was started by a great devotee of Lord Muruga who is called as a Idimban who worshiped Lord Muruga at the Palani Hills in Tamil Nadu. He created the first kavadi. It was a simple structure that was constructed of a straight horizontal branch of tree with two small pots of milk tied at either end and decorated with wooden arch flowers. and peak of tail feathers idumban also pierced a small veil shaped shiva across his cheeks idumban carried the kavadi from the pudels of palani to palani andava temple at the summit of the hills and offered the milk for abhishekam thus thai pusam is a festival that is marked by the fact of penance such as carrying the kavadi in addition some have a small smear through their tongue or a spear through their cheeks which is called as a veil the veil a symbol of light and wisdom was used by lord muruga to get rid of three asuras and bring peace back to heaven and earth as a simplest offering on thai pusam this may entail carrying a pot of milk as procession for offering to the god now we'll see how to celebrate thai pusam festival on the thai pusam day most of the devotees of lord muruga offering fruits and flowers of yellow and orange color and also adorn dress of the same color as his favorite color are those many devotees bear milk water fruit and floral tributes on pails hung from a yoke and carry them on their shoulders to various murugan temples far and near the wooden or the bamboo structure called as a kavadi is covered with a cloth and decorated with a feather of peacock which is a vehicle of lord muruga 
Before someone can bear a cavity, they have to cleanse themselves for 48 days through celibacy, a special diet and continuous prayer. During this time, they must wash only with the cold water and have some sleep on the floor. Many devotees fast for a month and set out on the foot, carrying the cavity or the pot of milk to Lord Muruga's abode, especially Palani or Tirchandur, to worship him. A major feature of Taikosam celebration is a body piercing with the hooks, shoes, and small limbs called as a veil. The tongue and the cheeks are pierced by two symbolic shoes to show that a pilgrim sacrifices the gift of speech. The pilgrims often shave their heads and walk long distance to the temples. Most devotees enter into the trains during such piercing due to the incessant drumming and chanting the word Vail Vail Sakti Vail or Vetri Vail Muruganaka Arogara. Many of these devotees even pull chariots and heavy objects with hooks attached to their bodies. On this day, devotees of Lord Muruga fast and worship Lord Muruga and are said to realize many benefits. On the auspicious day of Taipusam, chanting the sacred Vail Maran Slotram, a sacred hymn written by Saint Arunagiri Nadar, a devotee of Lord Muruga. This chant highlights the mighty powers and blessings of Muruga's veil, which has the power to conquer both internal and external enemies. Chanting the sacred hymn in praise of the warrior god Lord Muruga on his power day can smash obstacles, destroy enemies, dispel evil spirits and sorrows, cure chronic diseases, and bestow you with prosperity strength, protection from all dangers, good spouse and progeny, wealth and health, and finally happiness. Lastly, the most important event is feeding the poor and the needy is the easiest way to assess God's grace and is the greatest charity. Donating food can attract positive energy and bring peace of mind. Also, oil donation is done to some temples by some devotees at Valala temples. Oil is needed for lighting lamps. Apart from dispelling darkness, oil lamps bring positivity. The act of oil donation is an initiative towards Lord Muruga's mission that is to spread light and positivity everywhere. Now we'll see what are the benefits or importance of celebrating the Taipusam festival. One of the important events in the Taipusam is a Muruga's veil or the spear, which is a mystical divine weapon. Muruga's veil represents the infinite wisdom that brings true liberation. According to mythology, it was on the day of Taipusam that Goddess Parvati gifted the mighty veil to Lord Muruga to destroy the demons. The veil is a powerful weapon that is full of goodness and energy. Similar to the destruction of demonic forces, the veil can abolish your deep-rooted bad karma and ignorance that affects your finances, relationship and health. The other importance is the pushya, which is associated with intelligence and nourishment. The moon along with Ragu in Cancer will be receiving the aspect of Jupiter. This cosmic alignment helps you to work on improving your strategies to overcome enemies and nourish and boost your inner strength. It also brings higher knowledge and fortune and helps to seek protection from divine. So this special full moon can not only increase your intelligence but also helps you to conquer the negativities around you. Chanting powerful hymn on the day of Taipusam can bestow the following benefits. It is said to grant overall prosperity, help to overpower enemies, bestows inner strength, cure diseases, give peace of mind and happiness, removes the effect of evil eye and black magic, and helps to overcome all kinds of fears. 
In this video we have seen in detail what is Thaipusam festival, the history behind the celebration of Thaipusam festival and how to celebrate or the rituals followed on the day of the Thaipusam festival and its benefits. Having known these facts, let's also celebrate Thaipusam festival and get rid of the ignorance and limitations due to the karma and Empower yourself with the divine intelligence and spiritual evolution by the blessings of Lord Muruga. Thanks for watching this video. If you like this video, please do subscribe, give a like, share or press the bell icon. Thank you.